Oh, Shanti. Good morning, everyone. Sri Baba is uh, giving us a second dose on the similar lines where Baba is sharing on the 18th January. So yesterday we also had a special Murli with Baba on Smriti Se Samarti. And today Baba is giving a little bit more deeper on the same lines where Baba is talking about how with the power of remembrance, with the power of our object stage, how we can bring others object stage alive. And that is a means to bring souls closer to Baba. So Baba is uh, uh, very taking us in a very detailed way and how the things work out uh, when we do service with our object stage. And in a way, Baba even says at one point that service is that when you are using the when you are doing the service with words, those words which comes from your avyakta stage are the only words that really does the service. So, so let's uh, listen to Baba and uh, uh, try to uh, feel every word. Try to practice every uh, word Baba is telling in this murli. And try to experience what Baba is telling, not just intellectualizing, not just uh, understanding, like in Mr. Smulli also Baba saying, understanding, wishing, and becoming, uh, being in that presence has to happen at the same time. So let's try to experiment with that, uh, practice this as a meditation commentary as you listen through the murli. So this is the Murli of 18 January when Baba gave after a couple of years after becoming a Vyak. It's on 71. Baba says, service through a Vyak stage. This day has been designated as the day of going beyond. So how can Bhaptada come into sound? This is the day to become a Vyakt, this is the day to go beyond sound. How can Baba come into sound when we are supposed to go beyond? The practice of staying beyond is absolutely essential. Let's take a minute to check am I beyond my body, my senses? Am I fully in my soul conscious state? In my awake stage, before Avyat Baba and Avyat Bhavdada. The practice of staying beyond is absolutely essential. You serve souls whilst in sound. But when you do service in the stage of being beyond sound, you will be able to see greater instant result. You serve souls while in sound, but when you do service in the stage of being beyond sound, you will be able to see greater instant result. <coughs> when you give other souls the experience of a weak stage in one second through your remaining in a weak stage, you will see that instant fruit in front of you. What is the instant fruit? What is the purpose of serving? To bring souls closer to Baba. When you serve, being in a vyakt stage, you will see the instant fruit in front of you. When you come into sound after having been stable, in the stage beyond sound. That sound will not seem like sound, but the avyat vibrations in that sound 
will attract souls towards Baba. When you come in sound, after having been stable in the stage beyond sound, that sound will not seem like sound, but the avyakt vibrations in that sound will attract souls towards Baba. Even while listening to that sound, they will experience your avyakt stage. In this corporeal world, they sing a lullaby to little children. That is sound, but it is a sound which is a method to take them beyond sound. It's a very unique uh, but tangible example Baba is giving here. In the corporeal world, they sing a lullaby to the little children. So if you see the, the flavor of those songs, it keeps you, takes you into sleep. It takes you beyond, beyond the sound. They are not tapping into the lyrics, but they are tapping into your vibration. That is the sound, but it is a sound which is a method to take them beyond sound. In the same way, if you come into sound after being stable in the avyakt stage, you will be able to give the experience of the stage beyond sound. One second's experience of awake stage can enable a soul to forge an eternal relationship. Such an unbreakable relationship will be forged that a soul with that experience will not even be shaken by Maya. I repeat, one second's experience of avyakt stage can enable a soul to forge an eternal relationship. Such an unbreakable relationship will be forged that a soul with that experience will not even be shaken by Maya. That is the power of that avyakt stage experience. The soul that becomes impressed simply through sound may come and go. Right? Intellectual stimulation feels good and then they move on because they have heard many sounds, but the soul who has experienced sound emerging through your avyakt stage will be freed from coming and going. The soul latches on to that memory, to that experience. Such a soul will not be influenced by anything. Always consider yourselves to be combined and do service in the combined form. That is, be in a the stage and then come into sound. This is another definition Baba is giving. What does it mean to be in a stage? A stage means to be com in combined form, combined with Baba. By simply doing service through sound, subjects are created, but by but put newness into service. What is the method of doing this type of service? At the time you are doing service, there is churning, but there is less attention to the stage of being lost in remembrance. Manan and Magan. Baba says when we are sharing, we are always churning the knowledge, like what should I say, how should I say, what is a nice way to say. But Baba says, churning is good, but along with churning, you should have been merged in Baba's remembrance. At the time you are doing service, there is churning, but there is less attention to the stage of being lost in remembrance. Focus on the stage. There is a lot of attention to the other side. There is less attention paid to your awake stage. It is why there is the effect of the depth of Gyan. But the effect of being lost in love is less visible. There is depth in our churning, but not depth in the stage, in the experience.
there is less attention paid to your awake stage. This is why there is the effect of the depth of gyan, but the effect of being lost in love is less visible. As a result of this, they say that the gyan is very elevated, but they do not have the courage to remain lost in remembrance. What is a courage? Why do you need a courage? Especially to be lost in remembrance? The courage to let go of worldly vyakt bhavna in order to get over the pull of the senses, pull of the world, pull of the worldly relationship. You need courage to go beyond, let go of it so that you can let in Baba's love. And again, there is depth, effect of depth of gyan by churning knowledge and sharing, but the effect of being lost in love is less visible because the stage is not deep. Stage is not in object. As a result of this, they say that Gyan is very elevated, but they do not have the courage to remain lost in remembrance. This is because they have not had the experience of love. That is of course, that is of forging a relationship through a big stage. The whole Raj Yoga is about connection, connection of love. They do not experience love. That's why they cannot forge a relationship through their object stage. But because they take few grains, they become the subjects. Only if the relationship is forged now, Will they be able to come into a relationship in future? A relationship of sense of belonging. A sense of belonging is created by your stage. This is the newness that has to be brought about, whereby through one second's avyakt experience, you enable souls to forge a relationship. There is a difference between a relationship and a connection. They come in a connection, but not into relationship. Do you understand? In relationship, there is a sense of belonging. There is a shared experience, the shared stage. Whereas in connection, I recognize you like one more person. So Baba says there is a difference between relationship and connection. And Baba wants us to bring souls in relationship not to create subjects, but to create a family. On this day, have you experienced the avyakta stage? If you continue to make this experience constant and stable, the stage of being avyakt, constant and stable, you will give this experience to others. Nowadays, words are words and many instruments impress souls in many different ways. However, no one can experience in the way that you people do. People can impress with their words, but there are not many souls who experience the way we experience the relationship with Baba. However, no one can experience in the way that you people do, nor can anyone give the experience to others. This is why nowadays it is essential to give an experience. This is where we, Baba's children, stand out in the rest of the paraphernalia of the spiritual shops. To, shops. So we are unique, we have the experience and we can give experience to others. This is why nowadays it is essential to give experience. There is a hope in everyone. They have the desire to have an experience in a short time. They don't have desire to listen, but be stable in an experience and give an experience. They have a desire to have an experience in a short time. They don't have a desire to listen. For this, be stable in an experience and give an experience. Baba received everyone's love in a subtle region. 
Baba has told you that there are varieties of love and remembrance in subtle region. There is that of those who are divorced, those who are yogis, and those who are loving. Yogi, Piyogi, and Snehi. Bab Dada received love and remembrance from all three types of souls. The years of the revised course are also coming to an end. When the year comes to an end, students have to determine their results. What is the result that each one has to determine this year? Each one has to determine something. You have to keep four aspects in mind for this. First, to what extent is there the stage of being elevated in all aspects? Second, how close have you come to your complete stage and in relationship with others? First, complete stage, and then from that complete stage, relating to others. Third is to what extent is there contentment with the self and in relationship with others? Not just with self, contentment in relationship with others. Fourth, to what extent has a rage developed in the self? And again, you have to keep four aspects in mind. First, to what extent is there a stage of being elevated in all aspects? Second, how close have you come to your complete stage and in relationship with others? Third, to what extent is there contentment with the self and relationship with others? Fourth, to what extent has courage developed in the self? Courage, contentment, complete stage and elevated stage. Four things. You have to check these four, thing, four aspects in yourself. On this day, you first of all have to carry out the task of checking your results. Results in all four of this. Elevated stage, complete stage, content stage, courage. Don't simply celebrate this day as a day of remembrance, but celebrate this day as a day of increasing your power. Consider this day as the day to transform your stage. Nowadays, people like transparent things. In the same way, transform yourself into such a, trans, such a transparent stage. Have you understood the importance of this day? Become so transparent that the soul that is present in your body is clearly visible to everyone. With soul, the soul which is elevated, soul which is complete, soul which is content, and soul which has a lot of courage. Become so transparent that the soul that is present in your body is clearly visible to everyone. Your form of the soul should give them a vision of their form of the soul. This is called experience of avyakta stage, the stage of the soul. What was the result of the pilgrimage of remembrance today? If you are on Yad Ki Yatra, what is the result? What is the destination? Were you the embodiment of love or embodiment of power? This love enables you to claim the blessing of power. So today is the day of claiming the blessing of love. One is attaining through effort, other is attaining through blessing. And today is a day of claiming the blessing of love. So today is not a day of attaining power through effort, but it is a day of claiming the blessing of power through love. Consider this day as the day of a special blessing. Through love, you can attain any blessing from the bestower of blessing through love. 
you can attain any blessing from the bestower of blessing. Do you understand? Not through effort, but through love. Something to digest. Through love, not through effort, you attain the power the, through blessing of love. It depends on each one how many blessings are claimed. However, everyone can come close through love and claim blessing. So there is a special benefit of being in love. To the extent that to the extent that that one understands the day of blessing, to that extent one can receive them. It is the wonder of those who catch them on this day of blessing, whatever you are able to catch are the blessings you attain. What you catch is what you get. It is the wonder of those who catch them. On this day of blessing, whatever you are able to catch are the blessings that you are going to take, attain. You make effort so that the remembrance of, of no one except one Baba should attract you. That is the effort. Did you experience such easy remembrance today? Achcha. That's where Baba pauses. So it's a beautiful Murli. Baba gives. Let's take a minute to digest. Make yourself very comfortable in your avyat stage. Observe where your sense of self is absorbed. Take your sense of self beyond the senses. Take your mind and heart beyond this world. into that world beyond sound. Into that Paramdham, in the company of Paramatma, Parampita. Engage your heart. Elevate your stage.
become very subtle in your presence. Experience your elevated state. Engage in the sense of love and belonging. Experience your complete stage in this combined stage. Feel that sense of lightness and radiance in your presence, combined in with power. Deeply absorbed in love. Your complete and avyakt stage. Try to relate to all the souls in your home in their complete avyakt stage, invoking their avyakt stage. siblings, children, neighbors, relatives, 
friends and family. Everyone in their avyakta stage. Bringing them closer to Baba. Giving all the souls a taste of a the stage. Make yourself very comfortable being in your complete, elevated and combined form with Baba. Make it natural, make it steady. This is what you are. Just being yourself. Nothing else. Be absorbed in love. Let Baba empower your stage. Let no word emerge from you beyond without your being in a web stage. Welcome back. So beautiful murli, beautiful practice. So what new experience Baba gave as you are going through the murli? Would you like to share? Feel free to unmute yourself. Hold your avyat stage as you as your stage transforms into words. What are you feeling right this very moment? I'm Shanti, brother. This time, mostly it was really beautiful. I understand that to stay in the object stage is the best form. That's the stage where we would be combined with Bab Dada. And he empowers us to carry out activities through very relaxed manner, very relaxed state of mind, with lots of powers, with lots of suggestions to carry out. And with those powers, we, we would be able to maintain our stage as well as serve others. And at this instance, I also see that it, it need not be always when we come in contact with others, but while we are working with in solitude, that stage also matters. And it can, it will just not form a connection with others, but would also bring others into a constant connection that is in a very stable relationship with us. With us. That was a nice suggestion in the movie. 
thank you om shanti yeah that's beautiful your presence brings the transformation in others yeah and it is a best way to serve thank you anyone else balvinder anita banu Om Shanti, brother. Om Shanti. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Because I'm outside. Om Shanti. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, please. How to share with you the the love, the uh, Isn't this day for me every day? Eighteenth January is something very deep down that some someone's very close and precious to me has left the body and has gone to the angelic world. It is such a beautiful feeling, and for that, how do we experience? Papa says, like a mother. sings a song to a child why she is making a sound but the child goes beyond sound to sleep so papa also takes us beyond this world to a beautiful world i think that's the first thing which always and then the second thing which papa when that's the elevated the, the closeness you know you feel so close to the yakya close to brahma and then the love as you know throughout even in the 18th january 1970 murli when baba said he said he built everything so because this was the day so he also an every uh, every day so so much more one can talk about but i think i would like to experience this day because it's the day of that murli you read how and uh, he was an harbinger of peace he went to the angelic world and adi dev subtle deity in the subject stage as baba said it's a final tradition the final thing of the 1970 and then it's a beautiful day i think one should experience it especially on that day that is beautiful when we listen to lali by we sleep we are not focusing on the words but we are very much in tune with the presence of the mother that sense of belonging and uh, that is what baba is focusing on thank you thank you gajavin anyone else साक्षी बेन प्रतिभा बेन लता लक्ष्मी कला बेन अशोक भाई भानु ओम शांति जी भाई साहब एंड डिवाइन फैमिली एंड आई जस्ट वांटेड टू क्लैरिफाई अबाउट वन मिनट ड्रिल दैट यू हैव डन विद अस इन द बिगिनिंग Uh, you said soul stage, avyak stage, um, uh, Brahma Baba, then Baba Dada. So I just wanted to understand when we do practice this skill, I am bringing my attention towards the center of my forehead. It is soul stage when me and Baba are combined. at the same location that is avyakt stage in combined form when i bring my attention to subtle reason that is i am with baba when i bring my attention to param dham that is combined with bap dada am i correct my ji yeah that definitely that is uh... 
a process, but uh, I want to bring your attention to one thing. So there is this uh, sense of self, like, like one thing is what I am paying attention to, right? Like on the screen of your mind, you can visualize a point and you say, this is me, this is me, this is me. But you feel, do you feel that you are that light? The location of that light, location of your presence may be behind the forehead. Are you seeing the location of that light in the screen of your mind? Are you, are you feeling that sense of light yourself behind this costume, behind this room of your mind? So that when is very really subtle difference. Yeah. When I close my eyes, I do see that shining star, but when I don't see, then I just bring my attention towards the center of my forehead. And then at the back of my brain on, on the center line, as I was taught, that's what I do. So am I correct? That, that's a good start. That is a good start. But try to, especially this murli, to, to manifest this murli, to act on the lines of what Baba is telling. My sense of self has to change. My, not my understanding. Right? By practicing this intellectual visualization technique, it will help us to bring clarity, but it will not be as effective as how you feel being there. So that is where if you see, if you start engaging your heart, heart is not visualizing, heart is trying to feel. So when you start feeling the light and you, you, you are absorbed in the feeling and you are absorbed in your sense of light form, that is you, right? Unless I get into my presence, Everything else is another intellectual process. Otherwise, uh, I'm not making any difference in my stage. Especially when Baba says, go into your avyakta stage, you have to feel that light. You have to be the light. You have to feel Baba's energy radiating through your stage. And that is what is actually others feel. Right? If I start practicing, intellectualizing my own sense of self, then I only give intellectual experience to others. So that, that is a subtle thing I, I want to bring to your attention. But as a beginning, it's always a good start. Yeah, you, I am in the yeah. I am in the beginning stages. Yeah, I, I feel you already crossed. Because you are the very reason you're listening to this Murli, Baba and Rama says that you're ready to get into this stage. Now try to feel rather than visualizing. You know the points. You don't have to visualize. You don't have to re repeat the statements in your head. You don't have to create a thought even. You start creating an experience. Start experiencing, I am a peaceful light. Don't repeat the word. Don't repeat the statement. Don't try to visualize even. Try to feel it. That creates your stage. And that is where you are already on, I feel. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, drama would not have had this murli heard by you, by Baba. Um, thank you, Ji. My second point is, when I'm early in the morning, I'm reading murli, I'm listening to discussion, I'm trying to understand. I spend almost uh, two, three, four hours by myself. Would you call that stage a web stage? Because I'm totally engrossed in that love, absorbed in, absorbed in Baba's love. That's Me right. and Baba yeah. together. I do not need anybody else. I am 100% absorbed in his love. So would you call that stage a web stage? Because me and Baba are combined form. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Like when ba in the Murli also Baba says, when you're so absorbed in love or, or Baba is sharing some concepts, but not just concepts, but 
he's sharing his love in words, but you're tuned into Baba's love. So when you're listening to Muli, you're tuned into that love and then you're feeling like, wow, I'm so blessed to belong to such an elevated soul. And then you feel that sense of belonging to Baba. And that is love. When you're absorbed in love, and that is the blessing of love is you naturally become powerful. And other things come into place, like combined form, complete form, elevated stage, complete stage. All that things is a result of that. But yeah, they stay put. If keep listening to Murli's helps you to get into that state, go for it. That it gives me strong urge to write songs or poems. I do it almost every day, me and my Baba. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Just, so that is just a... Yeah. Just a day I took a challenge from Murli mm -hmm. for 21 days. Uh, Baba said, sleeping means sauna. Sauna also another being is sauna, gold, right? So I started this practice last night. Baba, I'm going to sleep in golden age, in your lap, in your palm. Mm -hmm. Good night, Baba. And it never happened to me. But same night, around 2 o'clock, I woke up. Mm -hmm. I couldn't fall asleep. What happened is I experienced two times very, very bright, very, very sharp, brightening light while my eyes were closed. It's similar to, you know, when we have physical raining or storm, we have bright lightning. That's what happened to me two times. Then I don't know. I didn't I didn't have experience before then then I, I I don't know what happened, why it happened. That, that is totally fine. I personally feel that is totally fine. What's your last thoughts and what is your deep thought before going to bed that thought continues in your sleep that stage continues in your sleep in other words and and you get a full nice sleep you wake up and when you are conscious and then continue that that stage definitely transformation does happen in your consciousness and that is the process of cleansing yeah so i recommend Stay tuned to Gyan Yukta stage, then more of this stimulations, like stimulation of light, stimulation of uh, uh, lightness. That's all good experience. Allow it to happen. Don't try to analyze too much, but try to comprehend based on the Murli statements. Oh, okay. And Thank you, Jim. Those are transformative stages. Yeah. Thank you, Ji. Om Shanti. Thank you. Om Shanti. My Ji, very deep Murli. And it's kind of a user manual to do service. Uh, uh, and where we create ears, uh, varis rather than the subjects or the praja. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the three stages Baba talks about uh, for the remembrance in the subtle region mm -hmm. is Vyogi, Yogi and Stehi uh, mm -hmm. which Baba says in English divorced and then Yogis and then who are loving uh, I think uh, these three stages everybody goes through and uh, from Vyogi to Yogi just uh, we get connected to Baba and then the last stage is uh, to experience the love from Baba as you just described and the effort is basically, if there is no effort. It should be easy remembrance. Mm. That's, with, that's the line with which Baba includes the Murli, that did you experience such easy remembrance today? So that mm. uh, easy remembrance is uh, uh, basically from the love only, that so much love we have for the Baba, then it converts into the power. But the basis is the love. Uh, mm -hmm. This I really uh, touched me. Uh, Om Shanti. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Om Shanti. Yeah. 
I also like this uh, uh, line what Papa said, come into sound after being stabilized in avyak stage. Mm. So this is like a combined that we experience with Papa. I guess this will also enable others to experience a state of uh, peaceful um, uh, because that avyak stage will create a sort of a peaceful atmosphere around us. And uh, I also like this word avyak very much. So it gives that, uh, you know, uh, deep meaning that vyak the bhav se pare, mm. uh, experiencing or going beyond. Or uh, in other words, we can say, physically we are present here, but not experience this materialistic world. Uh, mentally, we are experiencing godly, you know, God's love and uh, his sustenance. Yeah. Om It's beautiful, like a sense of, Awareness is avyat. Yeah. Anyone else? Om Shanti, brother. Beautiful Murli, and thank you, Divine Family, for this lovely sharing. I was just listening and absorbing. It's really nice to learn so much by just listening to everyone else along with the Murli. And uh, what really touched me in today's Murli it's the simple things of going beyond sound. And it's a fact that, you know, when we do meditation or when we do a musical um, connection to the Almighty, that connection becomes a relationship only when you start experiencing the feeling beyond sound. And I think that is the most important takeaway for me today because it is a fact that you start feeling that tingling in your body. You know, you have... Uh, an experience where you feel so lost. And that is that feeling beyond sound when you meditate and when you connect. And my task is to get that feeling during my daily jobs. I'm trying to get there that I can experience that same feeling of going beyond sound, vibrating at a very different level in my busy schedule. You know, that is my, and I know Baba will help me do it. I'm quite mm -hmm. determined that it is going to happen. Om Shanti. Thank you. Yeah, when we keep what really matters in the task, um, then things become faster and also effective. Like if you make yourself that my stage matters more than task, uh, from the stage you get the task done faster, effective. Yeah. Thank you. I, I see some of the sharings on the chat. Uh, I think Ushavin says, you create airs with your object stage. That's beautiful. Mm. Radha Mani. Yeah, Lakshmi Ben. Uh, courage. We need courage. That is love in remembrance. We have to mm -hmm. come get over or full of senses and worldly relationship. But we should have more concentrations in Baba's love. We should fully engage in Baba's love. That there is a difference between relationship and connection. Relationship mm -hmm. is sense of belonging stage, but uh, mm -hmm. concentration is only I recognize as one of a person. So this mm -hmm. uh, courage that we need is to have more uh, love towards Papa than to have uh, other relationship or other thing. We have to overcome all the other senses. Thank you, brother. Yeah, the sense of belonging matters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Om Shanti, uh, brother, this uh, it's a beautiful point if we analyze it uh, that the relationship uh, produces airs, uh, the varis quality, while mm. the connection produces uh, subjects, praja. Mm. So in uh, mobile also, everybody has got contacts. <laughs> but, uh, there will be very few contacts where we uh, have a relationship as well. Mm. Uh, others are just for kind of, you know, some plumber's number or some, you know, some doctor's number or some number. They will be used only when we need it. But then uh, uh, the relationship is uh, unconditional. Uh, those uh, contexts have got relationships. So Baba, we have to, <laughs> I need to check where is Baba's uh, number. Uh, mm. Is it a relationship or it is just a, a connection? So that's what Baba says uh, that uh, yogi to snehi sarup. 
yogi is just a connection but converting that connection into power the remembrance into the power attainment of power is what uh, baba says 18 january should be celebrated as a day where we uh, experience the power and uh, that's why baba says samarthi devas and one more point i liked is that transform yourself into a transparent stage <clears throat> so this is a day to transform the stage of the soul and let it be so transparent that is there is no body consciousness no kind of uh, this worldly feelings it's just pure and it experiences the power of baba which uh, and then uh, the powers om shanti yeah that's beautiful yeah so when you're exhausted when you're tired who do you want to hang out with is it baba or somebody else or youtube <laughs> that's yes. uh, very thing to <laughs> validate Yeah. beautiful and it's yeah. available 24 by 7 yeah on, on door on door online whatever we in line whatever we call it. <laughs> yeah you feel that sense of uh, um uh, refreshment when you relate to baba when you have yoga with baba do you feel refreshed or is it a work like oh no i am exhausted now i'll come back to yoga when i am fresh <laughs> yeah brother i think that's been a, like uh, i've been in gyan since uh, 2010 and this mm. aspect is always uh, you know that ki uh, people talk about entertainment manoranjan mm. uh, and they, uh, even uh, souls who are in gyan they look uh, for some other kind of entertainments like uh, you know uh, getting a pleasure from reading some news or some tv or some serial mm-hmm. or talking to some bodily relation and then they pass the time but uh, that's what i was also doing but uh, uh, what i realized is then there is no real love you know that uh, mm-hmm. deep love i don't have with baba uh, that is the checking point yeah i should get the entertainment also from baba baba is a Ramju uh, Raju Ramajbaj is a entertainer is a most elevated entertainer so yeah my journey is continuing i will reach that stage this is my purushar i have to reach that stage where i feel that entertainment from baba every relationship entertain entertain om shanti beautiful thank you let's uh... on that note let's uh, tune in to baba and let's hang out with baba the buddy make yourself very comfortable in baba's company and become natural in your awake state make it effortless you're just trying to be yourself nothing else try to hold papa invite baba to come and spend the rest of the day with you baba will be with you only when you are in your awake stage try to lay out this intention of being with baba at your work at your home while cooking while eating invite baba to 
to every place where you go today. And Baba will oblige your request as long as you stay in your Abhyat stage. Anchor yourself in this stage. Om Shanti. Thank you, Harsha Bhai. Thank you, Divine Family. See you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, have a wonderful day. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Thank you, brother. Om Shanti.